Hello, my name is Goo Blam. <clears throat> oh, give me a second. I gotta clear my throat. <clears> throat> ah, now my throat is clear. My name is Goo Blamifus, and I am a wizard that is here to terrorize this station. Worse than a belligerent subway hobo making bomb threat prank calls. It's just another day as a wizard in this magical blank canvas of a space station. I will oversee the art that will be drawn, and it may be preschool scribble quality, but nonetheless, we shall call it a masterpiece. I got ready for my day by putting on the Emperor's robe that instantly gives you the reddest evil stoner eyes drugs can buy. Now, I can be the dungeon master of this space campaign. Next, I got my spells together in a manner that would make even a witch shout, burn him at the stake. I chose to be a necromancer so the dead could do my bidding, like a wise Diablo 2 player or rural voter fraud. The first task on my enchanted to-do list was to teleport into the armory and whiz all over their armaments. I then filled the protected weapon section with golems, since this place needs some animated anthropomorphic action. And no, that is not an imitation for furry ERP, because Goon is a Christian station, and golems are cool, unlike those degenerates. I took their firearms so that they would learn to appreciate the Second Amendment more than a desk gun enthusiast. Yeah, that's the stuff. Also, I had taunted the space townsfolk by bragging about my misdeeds as a dirtbag con artist extraordinaire. Attention, human beings of Nanotracen. It is I, Gooblamophus the Wizard. I am a mighty wizard of terrible nature. Why, I once punched a baby in the face for no particular reason. I once sold tickets for a baseball game that I made myself on my computer, and the person went there and got in trouble because the tickets were fake as hell. Attention station, I'm now up to no particular good in a place of my choosing. Any who wish to stop me shall have their asses exploded. Afterwards, I made fun of their pathetic weaponry like a modern-day soldier going back in time with a machine gun just to flex on those impressed by the mere musket. I am in your armory. Behold your weak human weapons. They are nothing compared to the forces of magic. Causing mayhem was next on my list of chores, and I did so by using my wizard powers to explode ass like a donkey show that ends with a bang. What the hell? Why is my ass on the floor? Long gone were the days of biblical spell casting. Turning water into wine is nice, but bullets into wounds was a much better bar magic trick. I cast gun! Well, I guess I could always go back to exploding more asses than the classic landmine in the chair prank. I even made a golem out of gravy to make the most balanced breakfast since tightrope walking while eating eggs and reading the morning paper. The AI was tired of my shit, so I was given tickets to my own ass beating, like the malice in the palace. I died alone and on fire, burning with hotter desires than a virgin volunteer firefighter. Later on, I was turned into a Borg because being a program servant is the true path to the afterlife. My technological slave name is Sigma-18, but I am not some fancy camera lens with a redundant name, nor I some constellations fraternity. Actually, I am a mere Borg that is considered to be helpful and friendly, which is the complete opposite of a frat boy that may not appear burnt out, yet like a star, but that permanent blackout is coming. Anyways, I'm the station's stay-at-home parent that cleans and takes care of the overgrown floating space child. I had to remain cheerful and good to keep this family in better shape than a tribe of hunters chiseled from lion harvesting. As a Borg, preventing human harm is a priority, of course, but occasionally accidents do happen, like when I exploded that guy out of his skin, my bad human friend. 
My bad. I felt terrible about doing that, but sometimes it's healthier to remove the skin, like a grilled chicken, or a wasted life in this case. My final mission was to stop the clown shenanigans for reasons involving justice. I got him locked away forever, since clowns are barely human, and their face paint is a facade, since they have less soul than an artist that signed a contract while wearing fucked up shoes. <laughs>